Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to my Sunday stream. Um, hello, I don't know what happened at first. If you were here for the first few minutes of the stream, it, OBS, it died. Um, I don't know what happened. My internet was fine, but OBS was like, no, you don't have any internet. Um, and it said goodbye. And then um, Lady decided she had to walk all over everything. So it took me a minute to get set back up, but we're here now. We're here now. Welcome in Jane. I see you got the first and thank you so much for the lurk. I really, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be doing some more of our Pleasant View rotational. So let me, let me open the game. So you guys can hear the beautiful Sims music. I feel like I'm quiet. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm quiet. We're all normal now. Oh God, now I'm blasting you out. Okay, I think that's right. <laughs> Um, absolutely amazing news yesterday with uh, with Season of Discovery, Classic WoW Plus. I'm totally playing that. So if you guys have been loving my hardcore uh, game, let me know if you want me to stream Seasons of Discovery, because I think I might. Um, okay, anyways, we're actually going to play some Sims 2 now. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, it loaded instantly, you guys. Okay, we're going to we're gonna start with the land grabs right here. We're going to start with the land grabs. Um, we've got Malcolm and, uh, and Dina and Nesta. Remember, Nesta Goth, that is, um, that is Mortimer's, Mortimer's daughter. Oh no, what's happening? Okay, okay, no. I thought, I thought for a second OBS was disconnecting again, but no, um, we've just got like a tiny little bit of normal lag. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Nothing crazy, okay. Okay, here we go, let's get into it. Go Neko, thank you so much for the lurk. I hope you're having an amazing weekend. Sims 2 is a little unhappy. Maybe that's what's making things go a little bit slow. And once we get into the household, it should be fine. Okay, so just to remind you guys, we have here Dina, we have Dina who uh, who married into into this family and with Malcolm he got she got married to Malcolm whenever uh, Mortimer passed away and then we've got Nesta who was Mortimer and Dina's daughter. Okay, so just to remind myself, yes, okay, so we're going Monday to Friday uh, in the summer. So yes, okay. Um, looks like our kitty is hungry. Bonkers. Oh, yeah, we have bonkers in this household. I remember. I remember. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yes. Um, please feed. Make sure bonkers is fed. My weekend's super chaotic. I'm going on a trip tomorrow, and I spent the entire afternoon packing and searching for a sleeping bag that turned out to be my at my brother's place. Oh, no. Oh, no, Koneko. Are you able to get it from your brother's place before you leave? That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. I'm getting you fresh food, kitty. I'm getting you fresh food. You can have some food. Go ahead, bonkers, eat. Okay. Um, you should probably go use bathroom. It's 6 a.m. You're going to have to go to school soon. Okay, kitty cat. Eat your food. Hello. Oh, is it turned around or something? Oh, it is. It's facing the facing the stupid fireplace. That's why she can't eat it. Okay. <gasps> Lunar, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, it still says there's no actions available. The heck? What's happening? Am I going to have to put the food in the middle of the room? I guess, I guess so. Okay, let's just, there we go. Now you can definitely get to it. No reason you can't. I know you're hungry. I don't know why it says no actions available. Oh my God. Let's get a second one. Okay. Don't worry, Malcolm is rich. Just fill up the second bowl. I saw the rawest documentary ever yesterday. What was it? Um, yeah, my dad can go pick it up tonight. It was chaos for a few hours. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, good, good. Okay, yes. Um, all right, kitty cat, come eat the bowl. Come eat, well, eat the bowl. Eat the food. Eat the food. Yeah, wake up and eat the food. Okay. Now you, you'll be able to go to school. It's fine. All right, what are we doing with Dina and Malcolm? Dina was trying to become a professional party guest. What's his life goal? Own uh, five top level businesses. Yeah, that is so not happening, Malcolm. I completely forgot to eat basically anything. So I only got a slice of leftover pizza and a piece of chocolate. Oh my God. Well, at least some of it was chocolate. <laughs> at least some of it was chocolate and pizza, huh? That boogie doc is just wild. Oh yeah, yes, I did see that blue. I did see that blue. I feel kind of bad for a boogie, honestly. I feel kind of bad. 
Like, you know, he had it all. He had it all, and then okay. he was just like, yeah, no. Mm. Okay. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, I was gonna try to get a mod that let Malcolm just go to work, go to his, to run his businesses. I remember that, but I don't think I did it. I don't think I did it. Does he have a regular job? We don't know. He does not have a real job. He does not have a real job. Yeah, has to go to school. Okay. Dina, what if you? What do you need? Oh, you need to make a friend. You need to make a friend. Oh, you want to be friends with Bonkers? Okay. Oh, you and Malcolm, for real. Okay. Um, play. Let's do a little play interaction. We need to make you a friend, though, for real. Business. Let's see. Let's uh, check in with the businesses. To think the doc had the nerve to make me think he was going to end good. I felt played and toyed with. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I knew how it was going to end because I knew. I, I mean, I, I know what's going on with Boogie. Like, I mean, Boogie was OG YouTube. So I definitely, like, watched him on and off for, like, years and years and years. So I'm kind of, like, familiar with what's up with him. You know? Okay, Dina has to go to work soon. Oh, they don't have managers. Okay, so I need to hire a manager. Okay, so we're going to do hire employees for a community lot business. We're going to try to run these businesses remotely because I don't want him to go to work. I don't think that's Malcolm's style. So we're going to hire managers for these businesses. Okay, so Club Dante, yes. Ooh. Ooh, he's got a lot of creativity as well. Freelance photographer level eight. Let's hire, um, wait, hire Sim. Okay, yes, we're gonna hire him. Use the phone or, okay. So if we go to businesses, um, Do I have to go there to make them managers? I felt like the end credit music is so, it's honestly a great piece. I hope Clum gets, yeah. I mean, I think this was, this was like amazing for a debut video. Um, it's like really, really good. So I, uh, I do have high hopes for that channel. I think it'll be cool. What is this toy making? No, Brandy. Okay. She's a gas station attendant, but she's got like really good skills. Okay. Let's hire her. Are you sure you want to give this sim a new one? Yes. Okay. So if I go to business and check in with business, I do think I'm going to have to go there. Okay. What if I do Club Dante? Yeah, I guess I have to go there. Because I don't have any options. To like open or close it from the phone. Okay, so we'll do business. Oh no. Walk to lot, community lots. No, no one needs to go with him. We'll go to Club Dante. It, he knows his industry. Yes, for sure, for sure. Like, I was very impressed with it. But yeah, it is really sad, you know? I mean, Boogie was top of his game, and he just, like, he just got sucked into crypto, and it was like, you know, fuck all from there. Some people say it was super sad. I mean, it is sad. It is sad. Because Boogie had everything, and then, you know, a friend convinced him crypto was the play. Crypto was not the play. A bunch of people could have told you crypto was not the play. And, um, and yeah, it wasn't, and he lost it all. And people try to say, like, he lost it from, like, when he bought the Tesla, but he didn't buy that Tesla. <laughs> people say that. He didn't buy a Tesla. 
<laughs> like people don't know what they're talking about, you know. Um, but it was good. I was pretty impressed. Okay, so we're going to start charging customers. Let's see if I can do this right. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Can I do it? Okay, we're gonna start charging customers. We're going to... We already hired an employee for this lot, so are they just gonna come in? I'm here for my first day. Okay, so Young Soon, let's give you a job. Um, management, assign. Wait, I can't uh, just assign him to be a manager? Hang on, let me pause. Okay, if I do management, assign, how do I, okay, wait, I think I need to Google this. To be promoted to a manager, some use five points worth of badges, where gold badges are worth three points, silver badges are worth two, bronze are worth one. The badges don't have to be relevant. Any badges will do. Just click on the employee and promote should appear. Is that Sims 2? Okay, yeah. You need to have at least five talent badge points. Well, that's a bummer. No NPCs are going to be like that. There's no NPCs that are going to be like that. So I got to actually run these businesses if I want Malcolm to do that. Whatever. That's dumb. Uh, so I guess I just run this business until somebody gets enough talent points. Okay, so anyway... We're going to assign, um, sell. Stop talking to that guy. I've never in my life said, no way, please stop. I feel like I shouldn't know this. Never while watching a dog before. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Okay, I feel like I had like a um, magazine thing in here once upon a time. Anyway, hopefully he sells to these guys. Okay, yeah, he's doing sales actions. Okay, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay. Let's see, what badges exist? Sims 2 badges. Okay, there's also restocking and register or cashiering. Sales, so he'll get sales. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So we definitely need some things that we can restock. <laughs> NBA 2, no, it's The Sims, we have badges. Um, let's see. What is this? Souvenir rack, island edition, game rack. Jewelry rack, collar, what is this? Oh yeah, magazine rack, I definitely want this. I had this in here, did I, I must have got rid of it. Or maybe I'm thinking of my legacy. Maybe I'm thinking of my legacy. I think I am actually, now that I think about it.
Okay, let's put in a soda and snack machine. Because, yeah, duh. I think there's also... Oh, yeah, there's these for a grocery store. Veggie stuff, produce, freezer bin, espresso, espresso. Thank you so much for the Lurk Blue. We love our lurkers here. Okay, yes. Okay, so we can sell espresso. Let's sell some espresso, too. Mm. Yeah, we'll do the espresso right here. And then I think, if I remember right, if we don't put a door here, um, customers will just walk through and like start making food. So we need to put like an actual lockable door here. I'm remembering this from like the, doing playing this lot on the legacy. Ooh, I didn't mean to grab you. Oh my God, stop grabbing, stop grabbing these things. Grab the door. There we go. Okay. Um, let's grab, let's do this. Okay. And then we need a wall. Was it already there? Oh, I guess it was kind of already there. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and now this door. Okay, this door lock to household and employees only. Yes. Okay, we're all set. We're all set for Malcolm's business, so I guess we'll try to do this. We can't stay here too long, though. But for real, Malcolm's just gonna hang out. Honestly. Go make yourself a sandwich, you're hungry. Okay, so I have to pay attention to my employees too. I'm trying to remember what I learned from when I played this lot before. Okay, he's assigned sales. He still believes he's fairly paid. No talent badges. So I have to keep an eye on that. So yeah, I think this round is going to be all about trying to get Malcolm going with his businesses. And that's what we're going to try to do. So we'll see how that goes. I feel like I learned a lot when we played this in the Legacy, you know, because remember Malcolm was our progenitor. <laughs> and then we had the adopted daughter end up getting Club Dante and running it. Okay, oh, he gains passively, like just as he's chilling. That's interesting. Okay, he wants to make a sale. Dance with Dustin. Customer gains a star. Okay, you should then... Oh, excuse me. Can the magazine rack not be stocked? Oh, he got a star! Oh, sweet! Peter did. Okay. If I assign him to restock items, will he go stock this? Or will he just wander around? Hmm. 
Yeah, because there's nothing to restock. Okay. Yeah, so we'll keep assigning you to sell. Okay, it's facing the right way. But I can't interact with it. Yeah, I don't remember, but I feel like I had a magazine rack that I kept stocked. Let's see. Sims 2 sell magazines open for business. Or is this just not something you can do? Oh no, you can. It says selling from the rack on this list. Maybe because I placed it while we were open? <laughs> Maybe I have to place it like on this side of the ticket guy. I yeah, still know. Okay. Well, we'll have to try again later for that. Or maybe come into the lot. Different way. What if we place it outside? Yeah, no. Hmm. Yeah, still no. I don't know. I feel like I had the same confusion before. And I don't remember how I fixed it. Okay, we're going to set that to average. Okay, and it's about time to be for the girl to be home from school, so we are actually going to go home. Um, oh wait, be restocker. What does that do? Will he restock the magazines? No, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, anyways, we're going to go home. Yeah, we're closing up. We're closing up. My girl's home from school. Oh, Lunar, are you still here? You're probably at church. Tell me if you're still here. I wanted to tell you something, but I can tell you when you're done with church today. Okay. When did she get home from school? Hopefully I didn't mess this up. She's not going to be home for too long. Wait, what's happening? <gasps> I forgot to pay bills! Oh no, and the repo man's here! Oh no! I always forget! I always forget! Ah, oh, god damn it! What are you taking? 
What are you taking, Repo Man? While no one's home, you're taking the bar? What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Anything else that you would like to have? Repo Man? The fuck? No, okay, bye. Jesus. Oh, a local studio town studio town music video director has asked Dina to to cut together some stock 8mm footage and needs to round out the transitions for a video. Dina only has a few hours, so she doesn't have time to shoot new footage. But her stock of 8mm reels isn't very extensive. The director has asked for a single theme that will fit with frantic but youthful nature of the video. Dina searches through her archives and settles on two options, a reel she has of Sunny SimCity's own tragic clown, or some old footage of bunny rabbits sneaking carrots out of a small residential garden. I love to go with the bunny rabbits, so let's see. Bunny rabbits. Okay, Dina is watching the rabbit footage and inspiration strikes, and Dina realizes what she needs to do. With only a few minutes before the deadline, she trims the footage into 37 jarringly sparse one-second clips, recolors all of the carrots blue, and plays the entire segment backwards. Her vision complete but she hand she hand delivers the eight millimeter reel to the director he cues it up and the two of them sit in silence as the studio footage rolls afterwards the director is speechless he informs dina he no longer has need of material goods and signs over his network of seventy five thousand simoleons to you before heading off to live amongst the furry woodland creatures oh my god we got 75k you guys yes oh my god why isn't this cat eating cat why don't you eat your food what is happening? Oh my god. Once again, like, the food is, like, bugged out. I don't know why this cat won't eat. Go eat then, bonkers. God. I've told you so many times. There we go. Oh, no, she has horrible grades. We'll fix that. She can do her homework. Where's she going to set it down? Oh, on, on the desk that can't be used. Good job, yes. We love to put the homework there. Okay, let's move this. Okay, girl, do your homework. I know you lost your dad, but he was really old. Okay, the cat ate. Thank God. <clears throat> Is that Malcolm? Is he coming home? Oh no, but the gardener's still here. So she's not really home alone. The help's here. It's okay. Okay, you can do whatever you want for a minute, um, Nesta. Yeah, I know. But Nesta has supervision. The gardener's there. And Malcolm's coming home really soon. Hopefully, hopefully he gets home before... <laughs> Before the 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 uh, social services shows up, I can't remember how long it takes. I might have fucked up. Can Nesta go to a lot? Let's see. No, she can't go to a lot on her own. Why don't you go watch TV? You are having fun jumping on the bed, but, like, come on now. It's not getting your fun up that fast. Okay, come on, Malcolm. You can make it home. Believe in you. Who would even know? Who would even know that she was home alone? The gardener? Did the gardener report us? Please. Please. No way. Okay, why don't you go tend to the tree? Yeah, okay. How, where's Dina at? Okay, she still needs to make a friend. I do want her to get that promotion. 
for sure, for sure. She needs to pay the bills first, though. Oh, what's that? It's a love letter. You've got a love letter, Dina? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's nothing else. Okay, wait, what is... What is that? Thanks for the fun note. Oh, oh yeah, we need to put Mortimer's... Um, okay, we need to move him to the church. Let's see. Move this grave. No, not the career services. Oh my god, what am I thinking? There we go, the church. Move him to the church. Okay. What is she? Why? Oh, it's a dirty joke. I'm like, why does she sound like that? Okay. Let's invite someone over. <gasps> she's gonna grow up tomorrow. Okay, she's gonna be a teenager. Oh, that'll make things way easier. Then she can stay home alone. Okay. Um, Brandy is still friends. Okay. Oh, Nina's not a friend. Wait. We need to be friends with her sister. For sure. Oh, <gasps> oh no, really? Oh no, we've let the relationship decay too much. They each spent too much time romancing their, their appropriate... Okay, let's just talk. Let's talk to our sister. Oh, we totally destroyed the relationship. I can't believe it's zero. I can't believe it's zero. I don't know how that happened. Oh, we have to figure out... Okay, wait. Nesta... Okay, we were having Nesta and Timothy, like, together. But, oh, but Nesta doesn't have a cell phone yet, so she can't just call Timothy. I was gonna have her do that, but Dina's on the phone with her sister. We have to, you know, 90s share. We have to 90s share the phone. Malcolm, what are you doing? Okay, you can um, now call Timothy. So stop watching TV and invite him over. What are they doing? Oh, congratulate. Yeah, that 75k is going to go into the business. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, Timothy, come over. I'm going to be a teenager soon, just like you. Oh, there's Michael. Hey, Michael. How's it going? Resident zombie. Love you. See, how's bonkers? Bonkers is like perpetually hungry, will not eat his food or her food. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember, but still. Okay. Nesta, go greet Timothy. Let's give him a hug. Oh, she wants to resurrect her dad. Oh, that's so cute. I love how Timothy just walked in. He didn't need to be like greeted or anything. What a teenager. I'm going to grow up soon, Timothy. Just you wait. Why are you sad? Are you still sad about Mortimer passing? I guess it was not that long ago. I guess it was. Here, 
Kira foto po. Isa po. Kika ko. Mato. Oh, zaboom. Okay, I invited him over way too late. She's like too tired for this. What'd you make him, Malcolm? Scatty? I don't think anyone else is really hungry. Yeah, only him. <laughs> Why don't you come put away the leftovers? Okay, we're gonna grow her up tomorrow. We're gonna grow her up in the morning. So then she can go to high school. And she doesn't have to go to elementary school anymore. Giant ass staircase and two sims can't walk on it on the same time. Okay, let's try again getting some relationship going with your sister. Okay, yeah, it went up it went up kind of a lot from the one phone conversation. So that's good. I'm like really nervous about the fact that this kitty cat will not eat. Yeah, see, I can't get it to. It just keeps going back to bed. Okay, wait. Maybe the bed is the problem. we get this one and Malcolm you come fill it <gasps> hey Jane hello welcome back we're trying to get this cat to eat it won't eat it's so hungry all the time so I think maybe buying it a fancy dish will fix it what do you think
I think I always go for fancy when I don't have an appetite, but he does. Look at how hungry this cat is. Oh my god, why are you guys doing that in there? Get out of get out of the room. You were just in there to feed the cat. That's it. That's it. Okay, is that gonna work? Are you gonna eat out the bowl now? Okay, there we go. Now please actually eat to your full instead of just like eating halfway. Hello, baby skull kid, how's it going? How have you been? Okay, yes, getting this cat the fancy bowl fixed it. Of course, the fancy bowl for the land grabs. Now it's going to eat it. Okay, so we're good now. Okay, cat, you can do what you want. I'm not worried. Let's get you your pet bed again. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, fast forward to morning. I'm okay if you're doing, I'm doing so good. I'm doing so good, baby skull kid. Um, as you know, for uh, for Sundays, we like to have like football snacks when it's football season. And our theme for today is spicy stuff. So I made some buffalo chicken dip. I, well, I mixed it up this morning. I'm gonna bake it after stream. Um, and we're gonna have like spicy, like deli sandwiches with like spicy meats. Like there's like a jerk turkey one and, and something else. I don't remember that, the details. And we're gonna have chicken wings and we're gonna have jalapeno poppers. I want it so bad, yes. Oh my God. And I made one as, as aside for me that has the blue cheese in it. And then some for um, for the boys that has that is anti blue cheese, no blue cheese. I've been living on Whopper Juniors. I'm so sorry, friend. All the Burger Kings around here suck so bad. I haven't had a good Burger King in forever. Like when I moved here, I kind of stopped eating Burger King because it was just like so gross. I did not like it. Okay, we're gonna get um, we need to get a birthday cake because we're gonna have Nessa's birthday. Hey, it's your birthday. At six, whenever the parents wake up. I agree. <laughs> so your Burger King suck too. Ours really suck. Apparently the guy that runs the, the that runs this district of Burger Kings is like terrible or something. I don't know, but I, I mentioned that at one point to, to somebody who was in the know and they were like, oh yeah, so-and-so, he's awful. That's why all of our Burger Kings suck. And I was like, oh God, I feel like I stepped into some hot goss, but it was like years ago. I don't remember the details, but apparently, yeah, the district manager for these Burger Kings is terrible or it's like whoever owns all the franchises or something like that which I didn't even know was a, like really a thing that could happen, but apparently so. So yeah, I remember as a kid Burger King not being bad and actually enjoying it uh, frequently, but as an adult, no, do not. Jane, what ended up happening with the car? Is everything okay? Just by the way, as I hope everything is. Oh, you need to play with your kitten. Nesta, this kitty is lonely. It's got low social because it's too young to go down the stairs. Okay, we're going to play cat teaser. The burger, I, burger King I go to isn't bad. It's just that everyone there doesn't seem to want to be there. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's always a shame. That's always a shame. But I, a lot of fast food restaurants, I think, are like that. But it is nice when you go to one and like some of the employees look like not, not like they hate their life. Like it's like a normal job and they're relatively okay to be there, you know. <clears throat> so you pay $6 with a side of attitude. <laughs> uh, that'll make me order from the app so, so much when a place is like that, you know.
Nesta love her kitty cat. Yes, she do. Oh, you giving it treats. That's why it's so finicky. I think the only like fast food burger place we get regularly though is Culver's. Our Culver's is really good and consistent. So we will go there um, as like our fast food place. Oh, these guys still in bed? These guys still in bed? Double butter burger? Exactly. You know what's up. You know what's up. The butter burger is OP. So good. Love me some butter burger. All right, let's see what kind of teenager Nesta's gonna be. Happy birthday, girl. All right, Malcolm, finish up your shower. Come on. There we go. Yeah! Happy birthday, Nesta! See if we get some walls going. Zoom in. Oh, no, it's not going to work. There we go. Make, make the walls go away. Okay, let's see how much like Mortimer she looks. She's so sporty. Heck yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay, now we need to pick. We need to pick for her. Okay, so we know that she's a Libra. We know that her one true hobby is tinkering and that we've got her with Timmy. So a little, or Timothy, a little bit about Timothy is that whenever we aged him up to teenager, we picked fortune for him. He's a Leo, he wants to be a criminal mastermind. He loves fitness, okay? So he's like he's like a, a sporty rebel, okay? He's like a sporty rebel. He thinks he's gonna be like in the NBA someday or something like that, right? Um, like he's going, he's going out for like NFL. He's going out for NBA, NBA. I don't know what his sport is, but that's what it, that's what he's about, right? Very fitness, criminal, you know. Um, oh wait, well, fitness is different than sports. So maybe he like wants to be a fitness influencer or something like that. <laughs> but anyway, Nesta tinkering. So she's like, she's more of a STEM girly. She's more of a STEM girly. Do we think though that um, being raised by Dina and seeing about like Malcolm and seeing about Mortimer and like how Dina did that, do we think though that she is like, she's like a fortune STEM? I think she might be a fortune STEM instead of a knowledge STEM girly. Okay, I do, I do. So I think we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go fortune with her. Um, let's see, turn on's charisma and good at cleaning. Love that. Turn off's underwear. Strange, but you do you, Nesta. You do new. I dated a Libra. She was super social, really. In Sims, Libra is, let's see. Let's see what she is. She very, very active and outgoing. Very active and outgoing. Got her. Oh, no, she's Gemini. No, that's freaking Christ. I'm on Malcolm. Anyway, she's very nice. Yeah, Libra, she's very, very nice and a little bit outgoing. But that makes sense. She's a nice girl. Okay. When do you go to work? Oh, you don't go to work today. Okay, so Malcolm could actually spend a lot more time. Okay, so we're going to have him walk to lot, community lot. Actually, anyways, let's do this. Um, walk to lot, community lot. Nina is going to go with him. Or sorry, Dina is going to go with him. Oh, but she's got to get dressed first. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have to let her get dressed first. Change into every day before we go. Change your clothes, girl. Change your clothes. Malcolm's in the middle. Yes, he is. He is totally in the middle. Okay. All right. Now we can go to the club. Uh, let's see. Walk to lot, community lot. Uh, Dina's going to go with today, and we're going to go to the club. We're trying to get our, our employee um, leveled up enough to be a manager. 
Yeah, Dina has the day off today, so she's going with Malcolm to the club. And we'll do that while Nest is at school. I loved that show. Malcolm in the Middle was such a good show, for real. That was like one of the last sitcoms I watched that I really enjoyed, I feel like. They don't really make sitcoms like that anymore. When I watch a sitcom now, it's one of those like fake mockumentary kind of shows like, um, you know, like uh, What We Do in the Shadows, like um, uh, Abbott, Abbott Elementary, Parks and Rec, you know. It was very wholesome and well thought out, thought through, yes. Like, it was just, like, the characters were good, the plots were good. Like, it was just, and it always had good lessons, but without throwing its morals in your face, like, you didn't feel talked down to whenever, like, there was, like, a moral to the story, you know? So it was good. Okay. Business is open. Let's um, get our employees in. Let's call in all the employees. It reminds you that your family wasn't so bad. Yeah. But there was a lot of good about their family, too. Like, yeah, they were jacked up. But, like, they did, they did um, you know, stay together really well. And, like, they somewhat functioned. Like, they tried, you know. They tried. Okay. So here's our guy. He doesn't have any badges yet, but we're trying. We're trying. He still should be assigned to sales, I think. Let's do management. Yeah, unassigned. He's still assigned to sales. And I still don't know how to stock this stupid, this stupid thing. The magazine rack. I don't know how to make that happen. I think I placed it wrong or something. Yeah, so Malcolm and Dina are just gonna hang out here today. They're not gonna do any work. That's not their that's not their speed. You know? They're not about that. Um Dina could make a friend though, so let's call Oh Dina's gaining fame, nice. Okay, Nina, you should come to the club. I'm, I'm at the club working today. You should come. Ooh, he got a talent badge. Yay. Okay, and Nina's coming. Okay, I guess when we're at the club, she'll come hang out. That's good. Karen, did you like the PS2 Sim games or did you ever play? I never really played the PS2 ones. Um, I've watched videos on YouTube and saw that they are like really hard and stuff. But no, I had a PC, so I, so Sims 1 and Sims 2, like I was playing it on PC and like to me as a kid, like the PlayStation versions were like silly, dumbed down versions of Sims. Why would I play that when I had the real one on PC? You know, they're very objective oriented. Oh. That's, yeah, so it's like you're supposed to do certain things. It's not like sandboxy, right? And I'm definitely here for the sandbox. Okay, Nina, pay. Pay so we can, like, hang out. Oh, good, he's going to do a sale for her. I played Sims 1 back in 1999, I think it was 2000. Yeah, it was some something. Sims 1 was out for the longest time. I feel like I was really young during Sims 1, so it had to have been like, like late 90s. Maybe the year 2000, you know? Oh, good. She paid. Okay. So let's say hi to, let's say hi to our sister. Let's say hi to our sister. Hey, staff, stop talking to her. I'm trying to talk to her. Okay. Um, let's go hang out. Talk. Hang out. Yeah, we'll hang out around the sales rack. That's a good idea. Until we become friends with our sister again. 
Okay. What? Fun fact, Sims 2 is loosely modeled from Sims 1. How do you mean? Because I feel like it's a completely different game. Sims 1 had like a different camera angle even and everything. So I think it, I, I always thought of it as more like a normal sequel. I loved Sims 1, by the way, when I didn't know, but Sims 2 didn't exist and I wouldn't have known better. But Sims 2 is definitely my favorite. Oh, yay, we're friends with our sister again. Yes. Okay, oh, she doesn't count as a family friend, though. Bummer. I thought she would. Something with the coding. Oh, like the back end somehow started as like a version of Sims 1. That's cool. I did not know that. I did not know that. Oh, I think I just figured out what I did wrong before. Is this what it was? Okay, wait, where's the magazine rack? Is it in here? Oh my god. So I can't buy it in buy mode, I have to buy it in like, okay. Is the same thing true for these? I think I just figured it out what I had done wrong before. Okay, where's the drink machines? Is it in here? It's not in lighting. Is it in appliances? Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, I found them before. Where are they? Okay. Simple. It actually had the bulk of 3D mode. It's visible in some commercials for Sims 1. Really? I did not realize that. If I knew that at one point, I completely forgot. That is crazy. Oh, I bet I looked in here. Yes, there they are, okay. To my favorite simmer. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, baby. Thank you so much. Let's do some bubbles. Let's do some bubbles. Okay, now that I figured this out, what I was supposed to do. Um, okay. Ooh, rank one business. Fuck yeah. Okay, wait, per what perk do we want? Okay, while we're thinking about perks, um, let me, let me go do some bubbles. Let's go do some bubbles. Okay, here we go. Alexa, set timer for one minute. Bubble time, guys. It's bubble time. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to close my drink. Okay. We can do wholesale discount, simply influential, um, notable reputation. Okay. Starting boost. I think we want that because that's like true for Malcolm. That's true. 
Oh my god. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the the microphone. Okay. Uh, we gotta keep an eye on the time. We gotta keep an eye on the time. So we can go home when uh, Nest is off of school. But she's a teenager now, so hopefully they will not take her away. So we should be good on that front. But we don't want to be here all day. Let's see where this relationship is. Okay, 65. It's pretty good, actually. Okay, let's go ahead and start packing up. Oh, Alexa, stop. Let's go ahead and start packing up. Um, oh my god. Let's walk home. Okay, there we go. He can shoo everybody out. I love bubble time. I love bubble time so much. Oh. Thank you so much, baby. I know I've not been doing quite as much Sims lately because of Hardcore WoW. Um, but of course, I still want to work Sims in there um, regularly. I'm kind of shocked we haven't died yet in that. Truly. There was a bubble, a tiny bubble. I think you said something earlier also that I wanted to comment on that I got distracted. There's something about The Sims 2 needs and wants UI that makes it superior to 3 and 4. Yes, exactly. The needs and wants is, um, the needs and wants is like really, really good. Uh, and just the Sims 3 just didn't have that. The, they were very ambitious with the open world concept, but because the Sims weren't as like, you know, mm, and you couldn't really turn off the open world to do rotational play. Like I couldn't super get into it. You know what I mean? The needs and wants are just where it's at. Like, honestly, like I need Sims 2 plus. <laughs> I need Sims 2 plus. Oh, oh, she won spelling bee. Yay. I've been trying to keep myself from playing classic hardcore death videos and people getting excited makes me want to play. Baby, it's so much fun. Honestly, it is so much fun. Okay. I have to ask you then, since you're aware, did you see the BlizzCon announcement for Season of Discovery. I'm so hype. We're playing it, you guys. We're, I'm going to play it. I don't know if I'm going to like fully like stream everything the way I'm doing with my classic hardcore Let's Play, but I'm definitely going to start it when it when it opens. I'm And I took off Friday, that Friday from work to play it, and I think I might stream. I think I might stream it that Friday. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be so much fun. I know it's not like exactly what I was hoping for from a classic plus, but like it is classic plus, you know, it is classic plus. I've seen the hero subclasses. Yes. With the runes. <gasps> Metamorphosis warlock to tank. The heck. I cannot wait. I want that so much. Lots of Templars and Deathbringers coming. Right. Right. True. Okay. How's our kitty cat? hungry again cat cat why okay go clean this bowl and fill it back up even though it's not empty or anything i play shaman but i haven't played retail since 2007 mood <clears throat> mood i think last time i played really retail was like some mists of pandaria but i haven't really played hardcore since um since Kata. Kata was probably last one I really truly played. You know what I'm saying? But I like I like me some classic. Okay. So why don't you um invite Timothy over? Let's see. Um call Sim. Is she doing good enough in school? Yeah, okay. So she's got a C right now. Not terrible. Hmm? Oh, they didn't walk back to the lot properly. That's okay. Okay. We're going to invite over Timothy. Timmy. 
Okay, and we're gonna have some cake. Okay, you need to take a shower. You stink. You also need to have some cake because you're hungry. Hopefully Timothy will just let himself in again like he did last time and not not ring the doorbell or anything. He's like that. He's like that. There you go. There you go, boy. Come have some cake. Yeah, she's a teenager now. Oh, why'd you bring a friend? You didn't ask. You didn't. Did he ask and I missed it? Oh my god, what are you doing here? Mr. Craig Jeffries? I guess you can have some cake too. I did not invite you. This cat. Wake up and eat. Oh my god, I just refilled the bowl. Why are you doing this? This cat, I swear. Oh, whatever. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about poor bonkers. You have pet cats? I have four cats in real life. I have four cats in real life. There's no cats in here right now. Okay. Wait, where's Timothy? Where'd he go? I took in a stray black cat. She meows loudly at 5 a.m. Oh my god, my my uh my black cat is also very very loud. She if she wants something, it's meow meow meow. She like screams. It's so cute, but she is very loud. Okay, we're gonna give him a romantic hug. Make sure these sparks fly, because I really want Nesta and Timothy together. Like, look at them. They're so cute. Like, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, I love them. Okay, you're hungry, though. You need yes! I knew it. Okay, you're hungry. Get some food. Oh my god, they're in love. It's just what I wanted. It's just what I wanted. Yeah, we have four. So we have um, Queen as our black kitty cat. And then my roommate has a gray tabby named Ash. And then we have the two kittens, Oreo and Lady, who were all, what we call our oops babies. Um, we let some stray cats, Shut some up. stray cats came oh. into the house, at the old house. We let them in. And um, and uh, it turned out, we figured out why they wanted to come in the house. It's because they were pregnant. <laughs> and we ended up with all these kittens. And we kept two of them. Um, and all the kittens found good homes. And we took the mamas to the um, SPCA. So hopefully they found good homes too. Mm -hmm. But they were very sweet stray cats. Very sweet stray cats. Okay, why don't you go clean this up? Yeah. And we Oreos are only boy, all the others are girls. Okay. Um... My cat cut me up a few times taking her in, but I guess she realizes I take care of her now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the the two mama cats that came in the house, we had to quarantine them in a room by themselves because they were quite aggressive with the uh, with um Queen and Ash while pregnant. They couldn't handle it. So like, we wanted to keep the two the two mamas that we had gotten to know cuz like we knew them from hanging out with them outside. Um but it didn't work out that way, you know. It didn't work out that way. Oh, she needs to go buy the stupid things. Let's do, since she's a teenager now. No, no one needs to go with her. She can just go. Um, and if we go, it's downtown cold issue clothing. There we go. I'll be right back, Timothy. I gotta go buy these things. Otherwise, they're gonna keep, I'm gonna keep rolling these wants over and over. Oh my god, Malcolm and Dina are so in love. So in love. Oh 
<sighs> the mamas were called um, Coke and CJ. It was Coke and CJ were the mamas. And we tried to find homes for the mamas, but of course, like, people want kittens. They don't want adult cats if it's going to be like a free cat situation, which is what it was. Like, we weren't trying, we weren't going to like, <laughs> it was so many cats. Like, we weren't going to go get them all the shots ourselves. We were just like, hey, caught some strays. You want some? Hit us up. <laughs> you know, and gave them all away. I actually gave one to a fellow streamer. Um, I gave one to a co-worker. Um, yeah. And then the rest were to randos on like Craigslist or whatever. Feel bad for older cats. People always want the cute kittens. Yeah, and it's not like Coke and CJ were old. They weren't. They were like one, two years old max. Like we we know when those cats were born, we're pretty sure. Cause I mean, it was stray cat. They all kind of look the same. But anyways, we're pretty sure those two were like a year old and still like nobody wanted them. It was so sad. Okay, Nesta can go home now. She bought the teenager stuff. I put up even when she said it in her way, she probably has five or so years. You don't, I, how old is she? Because you might, you probably don't know. You know, like they can live a lot longer than you think, especially if you keep a cat inside. They can live for a really long time. I have no idea, but she's got white gray hairs in her black coat. Oh, I see, I see. I see what you mean. We do our kitty cat's birthdays in April because we know that's when the kittens were born. So we do all the birthdays then. Um, so we'll have a kitty cat birthday party in April. Queen will be, is our oldest. She'll be nine at that time. <laughs> All right, where's Timothy? Oh, there he is. Timothy, as soon as Nesta gets home, she's gonna... We're gonna do something, something. Would you play Sims 2 if um, it had an open world like Sims 3? Well, I don't know, because then I would have gotten used to the concept of an open world Sims. Like, part of the reason I love Sims 2 so much is, like, this rotational play. Um, but, of course, it's because that's what I was doing, you know? Like, when I was playing Sims 2 as a college kid... Um, I was doing this rotational gameplay, so that's what's like really nostalgic and really fun to me. But if Sims 2 had been open world from the beginning, like, I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe I would be like more, have like some kind of game mode that I wanted to do that was like the, that, that was matched with open world, you know? Like I might have some other style. But I just and I, I just love the Sims themselves also in in this like the Pleasant View Sims like they're they're comfortable and cozy to me like I just love them so much because I've been playing them for years and years and years. So to me like when I stream it it's like I'm sharing something like that with you guys you know something that I had done so many times so I think that's like the big difference it's what you get used to. Because there's a lot of people that love Sims 3, especially I notice it being like younger millennials, older Gen Z simmers. They tend to like really love Sims 3. And I do think Sims 3 objectively is a good game. So like I don't really see anything wrong with that. Um, if you love Sims 4, then I uh, just, you know, good. That's cool. But <laughs> it is objectively the worst Sim. Um, you know, if it's your favorite, I feel like a lot of time, a lot for a lot of people, it's just because that's the newest one, and also you can get the base game for free. Um, but yeah. Oh no! Don't blow bubbles. Chat with Timothy. Chat with Timothy. I don't want to direct them to a first kiss or anything. I want them to just do it. So they need to talk. What's their relationship like? Oh, it's hundred hundred. Nice. Okay. The, they should definitely first kiss on their own. I mean, Alexander did his first kiss on his own, so these two should too. 
Okay, she still needs to make it another friend. Um, let's see. Let's get her off the bubbles and, like, let's make a phone call. Oh, Malcolm. Malcolm wants attention from Dina so bad. I'm sorry, Malcolm. Oh, he wants to learn physiology. We could do that. Let's see. Okay, we've got Russ Bear. Let's, uh, let's talk to him. Maybe if we can become friends with him. Is your warlock still alive in classic? Yes, she is. She's level 30 now. She's level 30. She's still alive. This is a triumph. I don't know what I'm going to do, though, because I'm, I'm like, I know I'm going to be so into Seasons of Discovery. Like, what am I going to do if she's still alive? <laughs> like, I don't want to stop the Let's Play until she dies, you know? So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the goal will be get to 40 or something. But it's going to take a lot longer to get to 40. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll, uh, <laughs> maybe we'll send her off of Thunder Bluff or something. I think that would be very funny. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I feel like uh, we should be able to just talk to Russ and it should be, we should be able to get friends. Like, look, look at how high it is. 7260. Like if we just keep calling him, thank you. Thank you. Never give up. Thank you. I, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. We'll just have to see how it goes. You know, we're definitely getting to parts where I'm like very nervous. I was so nervous that I wasn't going to get through the 20s. Now I'm like so nervous I'm not going to like get through the 30s. Like it just gets harder. You know, it just gets harder. Okay, Nesta, get off the bubble machine and talk to these people. Oh, he wanted to tickle her. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, wait, y'all can't really see it. There it is. Timothy wanted to tickle her. That's what he was doing. Mm. Say goodbye to everybody. You gotta go to bed. Extreme tickle for real. Oh, we got a kiss. We got a kiss goodbye. Dina can answer the phone. Is Nesta... <laughs> no, she's going to bed. She's going to bed. Oh my gosh, I really just feel like... I, f I really just feel like if we can be on the phone with this guy, we can get friends again. Oh, that one's Gordon. This one's Russ. Come on. You can do this, Dina. We just need another family friend so you can get your promo. You're at level seven. Let's see, does she work tomorrow? She doesn't work tomorrow. Yeah, she's not going to get a chance to go back to work during this round. So we definitely need to get her that friend. Oh my god, it's just not working. I'll have to try again tomorrow. Okay. Um, I'm going to let them idle for a second because it's not quite time for them to go to bed yet, but I have to pee. I'll be right back, but I'm just going to, I'm going to let them idle. I'm going to let them idle so y'all can just watch what they do. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay. And I knew it would be. Okay, it's bedtime for them. I knew that would happen. Okay, so go to sleep, everybody. Oh. No, go to sleep. I didn't mean to cancel that. I thought I was canceling your bubbles. I thought I was canceling your bubbles. I wasn't. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, everybody's in bed. This freaking cat always hungry. What the heck? Just eat. Just eat your food. It does not want to. Oh my god. Just eat it. There we go. Why is this cat like this? Bonkers. Why did we adopt bonkers? Why do we adopt bonkers? Oh my god. Wait, why are you up so early, girl? I don't know why she's up so early. Yeah, she should not be. It's not 6 a.m. yet. I don't know what happened. Now get out the big plate of spaghetti so we can all have some. I never replaced that bar, I just realized. Okay, I guess Dina will go with Malcolm to work again. And it was fine that Nesta was home by herself for just a little bit, so we're all good there. I wish the maid would pay the bills for us. That would be nice. There we go. I didn't forget. I didn't forget. We don't need two desks. We'll delete that. Malcolm, come get your breakfast spaghetti. Oh, it's, wait, it's clogged, it's clogged. Don't use it, Nesta. I just realized you need to unclog it first. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, she loves tinkering. Okay, good, good, good. So she likes doing this sort of thing. Whoever floats your boat, girl, whoever floats your boat. Okay, she's not going to have time to eat beforehand, so... Yeah, you should actually probably snuggle your kitty. Alright, Malcolm, you need to get dressed. Because y'all are going to go to the club today. Have fun at school, Nesta, with your crop top. I'm sure that definitely doesn't violate dress code. Okay, so Malcolm is going to walk to lot, community lot. Nina's gonna go with him today. Let's go. That was kind of loud. Sorry, y'all. I got this new cup. It's like really fancy. It has like a lock on it and stuff, but it's really pretty. It's like kind of rainbowy. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's hollow. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's hollow, but it's kind of small. Um, we got it from like a promotional thing. It was like free with, you know, situation. So, um, we're gonna find out if it's too small or if this is good water cup. So I do think it's really pretty. So I'd like to use it. I also have my nails hollow today. I have hollow, holographic orange for November. Let's see, hollow. 
I don't know. I still I can't really tell if the camera's picking up the hollow or not, but trust me, it's hollow. Okay, call in our employees. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Um, he wants to have a level two business. Don't worry, Malcolm. You're going to have it. He wants to have five top level businesses. We'll see how that goes. I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, it's Angela. And there's our employee, okay. Is this bad that I still listen to Sims on vacation music? No. What? I thought you thought you were getting paid fairly. What happened? What happened, you song? Oh my god. No, wait, come back. Oh, I fucked up. It did it not say he thought he was being paid fairly? Oh, I can't I can't do anything with him. I wanted a manager. Wait. Oh my god. Well, let's try again. Now that I know they need all those badge points. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. You could have just asked for a raise. I would have given it to you. Let's see. He already has a gold toy making badge. He has a gold sewing badge. He's cheaper. Let's get this guy. For real, like he could have just, he could have just asked. I would have given it to him one logic, exactly. Like, dude, just talk to me. I'm reasonable. I totally missed that he was unhappy. It still had like green above his thing. Anyway, I don't understand why that happened. I'm not very good at the business part. Uh, uh, come in here. Come in, new employee. You already have a gold level badge, so I just need to get silver level sales with you, and then you can be a manager. Which is really all I want. I just want to get a manager for this business. It's Ivy. She wants to stay home from work, girl. Girl. You have three days off. Don't worry about that right now. Okay, first day of work. Where are you? There you are. Okay, so... Wow, he likes her. Okay. Um, management. Assign to sales. Have you ever tried Zero Simoleons Challenge, making money by digging and selling treasure? No, I've not tried that one. I have seen people stream it, but I have not tried it myself. It looks really hard. <laughs> it looks really hard. Um, so no, I haven't. Have you tried it before? Is it as hard as it looks? It looks like it would be. Could you also get Simoleons from like Star Discovery? With the, is like with a telescope, like is that valid? Or no. Because I would think like once you dig up enough treasure that you could do some of that stuff, you know? Oh, 
Deck deck. Oh, that's good. You want to try to make friends with her? Oh, let's do a hangout. Let's do a hangout with a new employee. Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Because that'll just distract her and then she won't get the badges, which we need her to do. So why don't you just invite over that one dude that you're trying to be friends with and we can hang out with him. It would take a really long time to get anywhere doing either or. Yeah, that's what I would think. Like if you said, okay, you're not allowed to, um, you're not allowed to, to actually earn money by doing like a traditional job or owning a business. It just has to be things you can do on the lot. Like that would be hard. Yeah, your friend can come. Oh, did they earn the badge? No. Oh, I guess that was just a plus. Because the, the ways I think you could do it in Sims 2 is like the digging up and selling treasure, the telescope for discovering stars, you could paint and sell paintings, um, you could farm and sell the produce, but like all of that takes money to start, so you'd have to start with the digging, and then you'd have to purchase like the telescope, you'd have to purchase the easel, you'd have to purchase, you know, trees and plants and stuff, like that's how you'd have to do it, I would think. Maybe I should just give like a little bit of a raise each day. You know, like every day they come in, I should just adjust their pay. Maybe that would do it. Hey, Michael, what's up? Michael's such a socialite, the coolest zombie around town. All right, Russ is here. So let's try to hang out with him. Not play pinball. Mm. On top of what EA has done with future Sims game, I also sat him by the state of SimCity. SimCity 4 is still the best SimCity. It's like 20 years old today. Yeah, I feel the same way about SimCity that I feel about The Sims. EA just doesn't have it on the ball anymore with their monetization practices or with their game design. Like, I'm sure I will still try out Sims 5, you know, because I'm a sucker and I will still give it a try, but I don't see how it's going to be any different than Sims 4, you know? So I'm really instead, like, looking forward to trying, like, Paralives or some of those, like, Sims competitors. Um, I think that would be much more fun. Okay, it's time to go home. It's time to go home because Nesta will be home from school. So we're going to go home. And we made the friend. So what that means is then on Friday, when she finally goes back to work, she should get promotion. But that'll have to be in the spring. Or fall, I mean. That's what comes after summer, not spring. Fall comes after summer. Oh my god. I played it. It was needed to interact with other players, but still not a real city sandbox. It's kind of too easy. Yeah, so okay. The idea of like a simulation MMO I think is really cool, but I just don't know how anyone would pull it off. Like I played a lot of Palea. I played a lot of Palea. And like I, as somebody who is both into MMOs and simulations, like I know what I'm looking for from a simulation MMO. And I can just tell you like Palea wasn't it. Paleo wasn't it. They understand the heart of someone who wants to decorate, but they do not understand the social aspect that an MMO player wants, and they do not understand the gameplay aspect that a simulation player wants. They don't understand. Like, the gameplay was not interesting enough, and 
the fact that they had like no servers. So it was all like just various shards and instances where you would see like random people. So you couldn't like see the same people over and over and like build those kind of like um those kind of like uh, passive bonds of just like oh i've seen that guy before or i've seen that guy in trade chat you know so like nobody nobody has really that's attempted this sort of thing has figured it out yet um i have hopes that someday someone could but so far that has not happened so far that has not happened um Palea is like a, the latest example, I feel like. And it's just not there. It's not right. You know, the closest thing to a simulation MMO that we have had is the Animal Crossing New Horizons, but it's not really. It's just you visit each other's islands, but that's the closest thing. That's the closest thing, and it really doesn't nail the MMO aspects at all. It just lets you visit your friend's um, islands. Oh, she's doing terribly in school. Okay, well, we'll have her do her homework today. I never played Cities XL either, um, but it looks nice. Yeah, I never, pl I didn't play that. I've never played that. Okay, oh, her mood is pretty good. Her mood is pretty good for somebody who's, like, doing really terribly in school. So she, she didn't, it didn't totally deplete her fun. That's interesting. Um, let's do her homework. Why you always want to put it in your parents' room, I don't know. I remember when the Gabe Kim Kana kids were wanting to link up Animal Crossing. Yeah, that's like the closest thing I think anyone has ever nailed to like a simulation MMO that's any good. And it's still, it like, it's still not that good. It still has a long way to go to really be a simulation MMO. Like, I just don't think anyone's done it. Okay, she wants to earn some money. Feed Bonkers a treat. Okay, where are you, Bonkers? Oh, you're in bed. Okay. Did you ever play Sims Online? No, I didn't. Um, it just wasn't because you you weren't really like simulating. You were just controlling a certain sim. So like, I was really weirded out by it. I didn't get it. Um, so I didn't play it. <laughs> I didn't play it. Uh, let's snuggle. Oh, you're sad because you're failing? Girl, well, if you ever wanted to do your homework, you wouldn't be failing. But you never want to do your homework, so I only make you do it when you're doing really terribly. Why can't she hug bonkers? Do they not have good... No, they have... Best relationship. I guess maybe because he's just a kitten. I had dial-up on an ancient PC, couldn't play even though I owned the game. Oh, really? The MMO I was playing at the time was EverQuest. So I was obsessed with that. Anytime I was playing MMO, I was playing EverQuest. And I know my computer could run that, I but I never got Sims Online, so I don't know if it could have run it or not. I do know that Sims Online had performance issues, so I don't know. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's part of why I never bought it, because I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I would just tell my parents if I wanted a game, and like my dad would look up if the PC could run it or not. You know, <laughs> I've seen lots of PS2 commercials for EverQuest. Uh, was EverQuest on PS2? Was there a PS2 version of EverQuest? It was a PC. I was playing it on PC. <laughs> But I wouldn't be surprised if there was some kind of console EverQuest. I just don't remember it. But yeah, I was obsessed. I was playing that game. So hardcore. All the way up until WoW came out. Pretty much. I played... I had a brief play of Final Fantasy XI. But it was mostly EverQuest and then WoW. Oh my gosh, why is Brandy Dreamer no longer a family friend? Does that hurt us? No, it doesn't, apparently. Okay, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> 
We're gonna invite Timothy over. Timothy! Timothy! Timothy, come on. Heck yeah, dance time. Okay, have some sketchy. Yeah, it's little Timmy. Timothy. Oh, Dina's playing with the kitty cat. Don't worry, soon he'll be able to come downstairs because he'll be adult. Or she. I should check. I can't remember. Is this cat a boy or a girl? Okay, Bonkers is a boy. I couldn't remember. <clears throat> because we're doing the businesses, this round is taking quite quite a long time, longer than I thought it would. So that's really interesting. The businesses, I, I do remember that from playing it on the Legacy one. The businesses take quite a lot of time. Oh, what's going on? Why are you yellow? Because you're hungry, of course. Of course, because you're hungry. Dina, help this cat out. Help this cat out. Oh, wait. It's eating it. It's eating it. Sorry, Dina. Sorry. I thought it wasn't going to eat it. You can take a shower instead. I thought the kitty cat was not going to eat it. God, bonkers. Why do you wait until you're starving? Be kissed? Be kissed? What is happening? Wait. Oh my god, wait. We do we- why? Why? Don't take a bath, go downstairs. They were about to AC our first kiss, the heck? The heck and it didn't happen. Oh my god, Nesta. Nesta. Gossip with him. <laughs> what's happening? Why are we getting this? I don't know what's happening. I don't know why that popped up. Girl, why are you lounging? Get up. Talk to Timothy. Do I just do it? They were gonna do it. They were gonna do it. On their own. Come on. No, don't take a bubble bath. Okay, we're doing it, we're doing it. They were about to do it on their own. I really want their first kiss. Yes, okay. I knew he would accept. Look at that! And Goths and Burbs getting together. That'd be so cute. So cute. <laughs> I love them. Okay, now you can go take a bubble bath if you truly must, Nesta. Oh no, you're gonna dance now. Good. That's much better. Why are y'all- why are y'all in her room? What are you doing? They're crazy. She's gonna have to go kick her parents out of her bathroom. Be like, get out, you guys. Get out. You can get some more spaghetti, Malcolm. Oh, 
Are they in a McMansion? Yes. Yeah, it's Malcolm Landgrab, who's, like, in, in universe, like, super rich. Like, that's what he's known for. He's um, Landgrab the Fourth, Malcolm Landgrab the Fourth. Um, many, many generations of rich motherfuckers. Okay, they're just, they're causing all kinds of traffic jams. Okay. Okay, y'all need to get out first, and then Nesta can use her bathroom. There we go. Yeah, the land grabs um, are famously like rich Sims, rich Sim family. So Malcolm, <clears throat> so Malcolm is the fourth. Like we can go look at his family tree. So you can see there's Malcolm Landgrab the third, Malcolm Landgrab the second, and then there's Malcolm Landgrab the first up there. And you can see Buckingham. The Buckinghams are from his mother's side. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't go back more generations than that, though. I love The Sims 2 and how it emphasizes on family lineage. I miss certain Sims that have died. Yeah, it's almost as if each time is unique to their own, and you can't ever have them back again unless you save accordingly. Yeah, that's why I love this rotational play. But I save a copy of the starting of Pleasant View so I can always go back and go from the beginning anytime I want to. So, like, if I was really craving Pleasant View, um, I could make, like, an off-stream Pleasant View if I wanted to, and I could just play it, and all new things would happen. You know, all new things would happen. Like, maybe Nesta would be a boy that time, or maybe Dina and Mortimer wouldn't get pregnant before he passed away, you know, for example. Like, who knows? Who knows? Dina could just be childless forever. But I do, I do like that there's, that there's uh, Nesta goth in this. <clears throat> I'm back. What I miss? I had three kiddos and we play with balloons to celebrate being unique. Oh my God. I love that. <gasps> Lunar. Oh, Lunar. I wanted to tell you, thank you so much for the super chat on YouTube yesterday. I'm not, I don't really watch the YouTube chat. I don't have alerts or anything like that, but thank you for trying it out. I didn't see it until this morning when I was going back and like looking at the YouTube um, VOD from, uh, from yesterday before I like deleted it, you know? <laughs> Um, so thank you very, very much. Uh, I, I was not ignoring you on purpose. I just am not watching the YouTube the way I'm watching Twitch. Because the whole thing I'm wanting to do with that is because YouTube has such good discoverability. Like, I want people to come into the YouTube and then if they're interested, they would come, you know, into the Twitch for the better chat experience if they wanted to do more than just lurk. You know what I'm saying? You're welcome. I want to test out and see if it worked. Yeah, I didn't set up any alerts. I didn't do any of that. So I had no idea until I was looking at the stream um, afterwards this morning, you know. So, uh, so yeah, that's how I have it set up. So the, the YouTube is, the intention is that people can come in there, like, and lurk and chat to me, like, a little bit. Because I can still see the messages. Um, but that they would come over to the Twitch if they were truly interested because the, the way better chat experience in Twitch. And people have done that. Like, I, I do know it's happened. Like, because a couple people have told me that they found me on the YouTube and then they came into the Twitch to actually talk to me. So it, it works. It works. If only Twitch had such discoverability, but it doesn't. So, you know. Oh, Gaboom! Oh, uh, Brandy and Dina are no longer friends. Okay, wait. Are they? Do we still? Okay, no, we're still good on family friends. Okay. I got scared for a second. I got scared. We worked hard for those. We worked hard for those. We do need to send Kome home, though. So say goodbye, Kome. You can go home. I was trying to stream, but I can't get a good sound set up to save my life. Oh, I see, I see. It can be hard. It can be hard. Um, and the sound is very important, so I understand what you're saying. I'm going to set up my streaming for multi-streaming, or at least try to set it up. Yes, please do it. Like, it's so good. It's so... I'm like, I'm so glad Twitch, like, relaxed all that shit. Um, totally do it. Totally do it. Like, I can see, I don't know if they're, like, paying attention or whatever, but, like, I can see that someone is watching on the YouTube right now. So, 
like that's like the goal like is that people can come in through there because they don't typically come in through twitch you know like i have to mark it outside of it um and then if they're interested they come they come to twitch and hang out with us and you know become somebody that that tunes in but the youtube is there for like for them to lurk and find out and actually discover you know Why, why are y'all having an ACR interaction in Nesta's room? Why? What is wrong with you? Anyway, it's like, it's 1 a.m. Anyways, it's 1 a.m. Why are y'all still awake? Go to bed. Go to bed, Sims. Oh my god. Yeah, you do have to have like a half-decent microphone. And I think having carpets helps too. Like, I think... And having a lot of stuff in your room, like I have the stuffed animals and the couch in the back, right? And it is to have a fun background, but it's also because having more furniture in the room, like improves your sound because it's less, it's like more absorbing, you know? So, so yeah, just some things that you can maybe, that you can maybe do. Blue Yeti, that's the most bang for your buck in regards to like a microphone, if that helps. Yeah, yeah, just um, fun things that I've learned over the years. I love my Yeti mic, right? Yeah, Blue Yeti's amazing. Okay, we need to serve some food. Because apparently that was the last spaghetti plate. And they need to eat before they go to the... Before they go to the club. Yeah, I use my Blue Yeti for forever. The only reason I even stopped using it is because of um, the the bot the socket where the USB cord goes into it. Like it's loose, and I just got tired of messing around with it, trying to make that work. Oh, I can smell it. They're making the wings and jalapeno poppers now. I can smell them. You better eat that food, cat. I know you're hungry. There we go. It's eating. <gasps> Snack time. Okay. Sorry, it's before two. It's okay. It's all good. We got jalapeno poppers, you guys. Look, they wrapped them in bacon. It's bacon wrapped jalapenos. Okay, we're gonna try this. It's hot? Okay, we're, okay, we're actually, we're gonna wait to try that. Just kidding, just kidding. I don't wanna burn myself. We're gonna wait and give it a few minutes. Okay. Okay, they're all eating. Please share. Okay, you can have one, baby. Come on over and you can have a bacon-wrapped jalapeno. You're welcome to it. You're welcome to him. Okay, you gotta go to school, Nesta. Stop eating. You're gonna miss the bus. Yeah, run, run. You're literally about to miss the bus. You just made it, girl. Okay, so Malcolm, walk to lot, community lot. Do you eat them with mustard? I've got some ranch on my plate. I've got some ranch on my plate. So that's what I'm gonna have them with. Yeah, Dina has the day off, so she's going with. We're gonna go to the club. I don't know what kind of cheese this is. This maybe mozzarella or something? It looks really good. Looks really like ooey gooey. Few more minutes. Few more minutes and I won't be able to stand it. And we'll have to bite them and burn ourselves.
Aloe on standby. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Does aloe work for mouth burns? I mean, I think you can eat aloe, right? Like you can, it's edible. So I guess it could feel good for mouth burns. Cause there's like aloe drinks, right? I feel like I've had those, had one of those before. Okay, let's get our employees in here. Where's the phone? There it is. Uh, business, call in all employees. I don't know, I know you can eat it though. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, that's all I know as well. Okay, she wants to watch TV. You can go watch TV. We could get them, we could get a bookcase so that they can, they can do skills here. Like, why not? Let's get them a bookcase. We'll get something that looks club appropriate. I think, yeah, this one. Oh, hi lady. I hear you, meow meow. Okay, we're gonna try one. Oh, it does feel really warm. They're so good. They're so cheesy. Oh my god, I love jalapenos. Okay. They say they're still fairly paid, but we don't believe LaShawn. Um, management change wage. Da daily small raise. Daily small raise. Overpaid? I don't want overpaid. Okay. Whatever, we checked it. Mm. I forgot to get her dressed. I forgot to get her dressed. Oh, you got a badge. Okay. Maybe we need to have better relationship with them. Mmm, <laughs> no, they're underpaid. Okay, the badge is what made them underpaid, okay. Almanacs, hello! Okay, let's change the wage. How are you doing, Almanacs? Okay, let's fix that. It's the badge. It's earning the badge. Ooh, that was a spicy bite. Good thanks on you. I'm awesome. I'm having a great weekend. Ooh. <clears throat> that was a little spicy. It is spicy day, though. Okay, it's the badge. It's when he got the the bronze badge, and I didn't raise the wage. That's why he left.
sí. Do we rank up? We did rank up. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that that line of perks. It is spicy day, that's our theme, so you know. Do a little bit of fast forwarding. Because they're just chilling. Okay, people do buy the magazine since I bought it properly. Now I can see her doing it. Okay. More ranks, more ranks. You can call anyone in town, whether you know them or not. Nice. Thank you so much for the lurk, Lunar. I think we're going to do this, though. I think we're going to get some motivation. Okay, it's time to go. I can see our person is, um, done. Let's go home. Let's get everybody out. Still fairly paid. We can almost make them a manager. They've got four badge points. We just need to get the silver sales badge, and then we can have a manager for this place. And then we don't have to constantly come here to run it. Look at that, Nesta's a cool teenager. I'm so happy for her. Okay, we're making some chicken wings too, got that coming next. I can hear them in the air fryer right now. Oh my gosh, yay! Bonkers is a cat now! Hey, Bonkers! We're gonna eventually adopt all the Pleasant View cats, I feel like. Because I love them so much. Phew. Oh, we can use the scratching post now? Yes! Oh my god. Okay, I kind of want the food outside now, so we're going to put it on um, on the big balcony. Nessa's got the better room. Nessa's definitely got the better room. The master. As, as the, the only child. I definitely want her to inherit this house. Yeah, those are really good. I like them a lot. Um, no. Okay, just wings, I think, and then I'll eat my other popper later. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pickle hot sauce. 
Did y'all know Frank's makes a pickle now? A pickle hot sauce? It's so good. It's so good. Oh, we should be fast forwarding. That's right. Okay. Nesta's doing slightly better in school because I made her do her homework last night. Oh my god. C plus. Okay. <laughs> she wants to earn some money. Wait, what's her lifetime want? Six pets reach the top of the career level? Oh, hell no. What? What? That's what she wants? That's what she wants. I don't believe you, girl. Please. Please. Okay, wait. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Aspiration. Libras are very friendly. One of y'all said Libras are very friendly earlier. So I think she's going to be fortune and, um, and popularity. Fortune and popularity. I think that's what she's going for. So let me add that. Let me put that on our spreadsheet. Okay. Six. And what was it? What's it? It's the six pets one that she has. Um... Okay. Yeah, six pets reach the top of the career level. Oh my god, she's gonna be she's gonna be a cat lady. She's gonna be a cat lady. She won't be able to get a uh, have her own job. Timothy's gonna have to be run his criminal um his criminal network while she she raises all the cats, the cat children. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing for them. Okay, here we go. Let's do. Um, can she... Oh, she can't do, like, the, the fun... The fun thing, um... There's, like, a, a way they can earn money on the computer, but she doesn't have enough of her fortune things yet. It's, like, this up here. Financial advice for cash. I was gonna have her do that, but she can't. <clears throat> See, the tree doesn't have fruit for her to sell, so she can't do that. It's okay. Okay, if she has six pets reach the top of the career level, then Bonkers needs to get a job. What kind of job do you think crazy-ass Bonkers would want? So Bonkers is... Um, he's, he's, a, he's a genius and finicky. So, bonkers. Oh, thank you! Yay! So, this is, okay, we got some chicken wings. This has got the Frank's pickle sauce on it. So, we're gonna eat those in a minute. Okay, we're gonna do... Let's go for teach command play. A scientist. I think he can be showbiz medical. Can he be? Hang on. Can she get... Let's see. Do I have to do it from... I'm trying to remember how we do the pet jobs. Can she not do them because she's a teenager? Oh, here we go. Find pet job four. Okay. Can you do it on the computer? Yeah, find pet job for bonkers. I think it's like showbiz, security, and something else. Is it medical? Is medical the third one? Yeah, there's, so there's showbiz. There's only three of them, so we can see all of them on the computer. I just can't remember what the third one is. Service. Okay, so there's showbiz, service, and security. Um, I think the the smart, smart and uh, and and crazy. I think service is the one we want. So we're gonna take the service job. Okay, so bonkers is a, bonkers is a working cat now. 
Bonkers is a working cat. We're going to have to, like, sh we're going to have to teach him some skills. Okay. Bonkers, where are you? Time to learn to shake. Oh, I didn't mean to zoom in. I meant to rotate. Okay. Let's do... Teach command shake. I'm going to try to teach him to shake. <coughs> Malcolm and Dina are home. Okay. Gosh, we're not keeping up with our family friends very well at all. Yeah, she's gonna, she needs plus one again. Okay. Well, after she uses the bathroom, she can call somebody. Oh my god, I bought that clothing rack and I never had her go change. She's still in her pajamas. The heck. The heck. Okay, are you doing the teaching, Nesta? No, you got distracted. Okay. Oh, because Bonkers won't wake up. Wake up, Bonkers. Okay. Teach command. Shake. Okay, get out the bath. Come on. Are we going? Okay, we're going. We're teaching. Good. Okay, let's call somebody. We gotta make a friend again. Yes, yes, please, thank you. Do you want your other cup? Uh, yeah, this is too <laughs> small. I tried. Okay, we're gonna make friends with Brandy again. Oh, Brandy's at work, the heck. Okay, call Sim. Let's see, Brittany. Uh, let's just talk. Yeah, we're very close. Let's just get friends with Brittany. I think it was Malcolm that's losing the family friends. You need another toaster pastry, though, Malcolm. Thank you so much. I will. <clears throat> uh -huh. Okay. Hopefully we'll get friends with this girl. Nope, we definitely didn't. Okay. Oh no, we did. We did. Okay. Does it count for family friend? Yes. Okay, so we're we're back in the money. We're back in the money. Yes, get a plate, girl. Oh no, she's gonna be an elder in four days. Oh my god. Malcolm's so much younger than her. <laughs> Malcolm's so much younger than her. It's crazy. Okay, they're learning to shake. Bonkers is a genius, so he should learn skills very quickly. Gosh, the toaster pastries are just not very filling. Kind of have the Sims kind of have to eat two of them. And go back to studying physiology. How are we doing on that shake? Oh, we're almost there. You can do it. You can do it before bedtime. Yes, he learned shake. Okay. Now you can go eat some toaster pastries. Bongers has to go to the bathroom, so you should probably leave him alone for a second. Oh, stroke, that's fine. You can pet him. Good kitty, Bongers. Oh, good. Okay, Malcolm learned the physiology. Oh, now he wants... Okay, he has all these wants for bonkers. 
He is a fortune sim, so as soon as Bonkers gets a job, like he's all of a sudden interested in the kitty cat. That makes a lot of sense. That is not going to fill her up. Oh wait, no, it's not too bad. Okay, her hunger's not too bad. You don't need to make more food. It's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, go pay the bills. Render unto Caesar. I think that's so funny that the macro is called that. Yeah, we're gonna render unto Caesar. What's Malcolm doing? Oh, chillin' with the cat. You you love you love bonkers now? You love bonkers now that he's an adult and contributing to the household? I understand. I understand Malcolm. It's not right though. It's not right. Oh, sorry, sorry, I've just apparently just dropped a whole bunch of frames. So sorry. <clears throat> Maybe I need some more RAM on my computer or something. I don't really know what's up. <gasps> oh, she's booty calling. She's booty calling. Hell yeah, you get you get it, Nesta. You get that booty call. You get that booty call. Where is Timothy? Where is he? Bonkers is out here to support you. Bonkers is out here totally supporting your booty call. Yes, there he is. Okay. Oh my god. What a good way to end the round. What a good way to end the round! Mosca. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, in the hot tub. In the hot tub! Oh, with his pink shorts. You got it, Nesta. You got it. You got it. You can get in. Yeah, it is spicy content. Join. Why are you getting out? Oh my god. Timothy Moore. Um, where's asked to join? Yes, join. It's a booty call. What are you guys doing? Come on now. Okay, go cuddle. Because it's not on the auto anymore, so we gotta, like, kind of push it. Why, why didn't it happen? I don't know why it didn't happen. Aren't they, aren't they crushing? Yeah. They're crushing, they're in love, they got everything. I don't know why the cuddle keeps ending. Well, maybe it's not going to happen today. Maybe he got there and got cold feet. Did the food get messed up again? Oh no, he's eating it. Okay. Maybe I have to do the casual cuddle? Oh, she's all about the cat now, too. Okay, and then casual woohoo. There we go. I just do them both on the casual menu. Totally worked. Spicy content for spicy day.
Mr. Nasty Dog. Seeing these cutscenes in Sims games was very exciting and great news. Yes, I love the cutscenes. They're so good. They're so good. Okay, it's 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. You need to go home. Get out. <laughs> Get out. Everybody needs to go to sleep. Okay, they're already asleep. Oh, apparently they woohooed and I missed it because we were busy with their first woohoo, with Nesta's first. All right, bye, Timothy. Bye, Timothy. Okay, we're just fast forwarding to 6 a.m. now. Okay, while we're fast forwarding to 6 a.m., um, I would like to say everybody that's watching afterwards, the, the recording, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, and of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.